Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Quilters Planner Book. Now, this is designed to plan and organize 12 quilts. So we can get one done, one a month, if we really want to. If not, we can use it for years going ahead. Let me show you the great features in this book. The first thing that I noticed about this book and that I love about this book is it is spiral bound. So the book is going to stay flat. I love books that stay flat that I'm going to make notes in. It's just easier for me to make those notes while the book is flat. The book is divided, so I won't have to dig through the pages. I'm going to be able to see exactly the section that I want to work on. We have some hints on how to use the book to start with right at the very beginning. And then we get into my year. So this book does not need to be used for the one year. I can have February that's coming up in a couple of years. Or if I know that I have anniversaries or birthdays, I can put my events right in this book. So just at a glance by looking at this page, I have all of the special events in my life that perhaps at some time I would like to make a quilt. It's then divided in months so we can write down the action plan that we want to do. So each one of these pie shapes is designed for a quilt and it gives us all of the tasks. So we're going to be able to color in all of those wedges as we go along. So at a glance, we're going to see just in these colors where we are at our quilt. Are we at the beginning stages, near the middle or near the end? At a glance, we're going to be able to see that. And knowing where we've left off is very helpful. The next section is the project planner. And this is designed for 12 quilts. Project one, we get to write all the information we want down, the tasks that need to be done, and we could check off if they're already done. There's a great area at the bottom where we're going to be able to write down things that we've learned from this quilt. Fabric supplies, we have two boards. We can graft out patterns, or we have these dots that we can graft out patterns. But on this page is the page that I will be using a glue stick with. Instead of gluing my fabric swatches, I've taken this fabric and I've put it in my color printer and I've printed out a page. And it's amazing how accurate it really is. So I can just cut a strip of this and put that strip in the book and put a strip in my purse. So this is just going to give me an area where I can put that fabric without putting the fabric. The next page gives us project number two. So we have 12 sections where we can put the information for our 12 quilts. Now this is great to keep track of projects that we want to do moving forward. But this is also a great way to inspire us to get projects done. Sometimes we start a project that really is not turning out the way that we had envisioned it, but we still want to get it done. By writing the information down here, by putting the chart to see what stage you're at, putting fabric samples down and a picture of the quilt down will give us inspiration to get the quilts done. When we see it on paper, Sometimes it's not as overwhelming as when we see it in a pile because we do see where we have left off. You might already be halfway done. So when all of these are checked off, it feels like we've had more accomplished. We can see where we've left off and it is very encouraging. The other thing I love to do in my planners is pull out markers, beautiful tapes and stickers. I love to stamp my pages as I go along for encouragement and it's just fun to doodle and sort of turn that book into something a little bit more personalized. The next section is tracking logs and this is designed for our gifts. We have our quilt title, who it's going to be given to, the occasion, the due dates, all of this stuff. Now this will correspond great with that very first section. This I want to put everybody's special date down, but when I know I have a special occasion coming up, I can put it right here. 
In five years, I could have an anniversary coming up, a special birthday, a 50th anniversary. I can put them here. And by seeing them, it sort of helps keep us organized. Charity quilts, quilt-alongs and sewing bees, areas for our classes and our retreats, quilt shows, lots of information that we can use. There's also a section here for our library. We also have a page for quilts on loan, but I like to do the same thing with my library books. We have a section for our contacts because we all like to keep track of our friends. The next section, references. I use references all the time. And that way it saves me a little bit of time for doing the math. And we do have just a quick reminder on how to do binding and starting and finishing those bindings. This can be a really fun book to have. We can color in it, use fun tapes, some stamps and some stickers, photograph our fabric, and it's all going to be contained so I don't have little containers all over the place. I'm going to be able to reference it from one book. The book is put out by Stash Books and it's called The Quilter's Project Planner. So even though it says quilting, it doesn't necessarily mean we need to use it for quilting. It's a great book to help keep us organized and to give us inspiration to work on those projects that maybe we've lost some interest in. I'll put a link in the description so you can check the book out. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.